forms and framer have always been quite limiting. We've only got a couple of different input fields. There's only a few integrations we've got. And even in terms of customizing our form to make it feel like our own brand can be quite restricting. But don't worry, because there's a brand new version of Framer Forms on the block. And today I'm gonna show you how you can build custom forms in Framer really easily and all within 60 seconds. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is head to frameforms.com and get the new version of Framer Forms, which is a brand new way to actually create custom and unlimited forms in Framer. So you'll see the first thing we've got here is a new sort of like dashboard and an onboarding we can go through. There's heaps of templates you can choose from. Otherwise you can start from scratch. And all you wanna do is copy this component here and then go back to your Framer project. And then once you're in here, you can just paste that component in here like so. And then what I'm gonna do is actually just unlink this component. So it's inside my own project. And I'm also gonna detach this instance. And you'll notice we've got a few different things going on here. We've got a form holder. And then inside of it, we've got some components. Now, this essentially allows us to build unlimited sort of forms. And we can add as many form input fields as we want. So to edit these is really quite simple. As long as everything's kind of within this form holder here, it should all kind of sync together. And then within this form field component, I've got the ability to update that field. Now, the first thing you wanna do is select the type of input that you want. So we've got a basic input here, we've got a checkbox, we've got a drop down. Uh, if we wanna multi-select form, we can do that too. One of my personal favorites is the MPS score. I just really like how it looks. Uh, we've even got a slider, one for a date or a time, a consent box. There's so much we can do here. Now we can also set if we want that field to be required or not. So if someone actually has to fill out that field before submitting, and then we can customize all the styling here as well. So I might wanna change the placeholder to be first name. I might wanna change the color here to be a slider gray. I might wanna change the font color to be something different too. I could change the font. So let's find something here. I could change the radius or even add an icon, which is pretty cool. And then the great thing about this is once I've kind of styled one of my inputs, I could just go through and copy and paste and you'll notice that it keeps all the styling. So it doesn't matter if I update uh, my input type to be an email field or uh, even like a radio slider, like whatever sort of field it is, it's gonna keep the styling from before. So let's just create another one here and let's set this to be email. And then where this gets really powerful is within the submit button component. So within here, we can actually paste in a link to where we wanna send our form data. So for example, here we are inside of form spree, which is just a free tool to actually collect form submissions. And if we go to the internet integration here and collect this form endpoint URL. And if we go back to our framer project, and if we actually select the submit URL here to be that ID, then when I actually submit this form, all that information will be sent to form spray. Now I can do a few other different things inside our submit button as well. I can set it so when someone actually submits my form, it redirects to another page or section of my website. And I can customize the styling of this as well. So let's say we want the submit button to be black and we want the border radius to be zero. You see, there's a bunch of different control we actually have around styling our form. So just for this example, let's change this to be a dropdown field and let's set our options to be design, development, or just to contact us. And let's also change the text of my submit button to get in touch. And that's how you build a custom form inside of Framer. So whether you need something advanced like a multi-step form or just something a little bit more expanded for your own contact us page on your website, this is a really great solution. So if you wanna get Framer Forms and try it out for yourself, head to frameforms.com. If you've got any questions or anything about that, feel free to drop them down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. But until next time, I'll catch you later.